Alrighty then, welcome aboard ladies and gentlemen. It is another Mentorship Monday. Welcome aboard if it's your first time with us. Make sure you smash that like button and of course hit that subscribe and let's get into some things here tonight. Tonight's topic is going to be around earnings reports. How do we trade earnings reports? This week is going to be the beginning of an earnings report season. This week, next week, and then going into what part of the year are we in? We are in the final quarter of the year, so that is also important to apply. So tonight, let's talk about how we trade that with Algobox. Let's do this. Alrighty then, let's come on down here to our training window. Hopefully you guys can see this all right. It looks like my video is a little bit choppy here, so hopefully this comes out uh, well. If it doesn't, eh, we'll try to redo it. This should be fairly quick here tonight. One of the most important things we wanna talk about is around earnings report because that is the current season. If you have not been around earnings reports or if you have, again, a little bit of a different approach with our system. Again, what is our main focus? How do we know how much we are going to be able to profit during each different type of day? The market's gonna throw a different type of day at you all the time, but what do we know about some consistency about earnings reports. There is a particular type of characteristic and personality that we should look to expect during an earnings report session. All right. So if you want to know if we are in earnings report, looks like Curtis actually just happened to have uh, typed in our room here. If you type exclamation mark earnings, uh, he's doing some of the shorthand stuff. A um, little bit difficult, but type exclamation mark earnings and that command in our room will pop up this list for the week. So you can look ahead to see what day is going to be the, the heaviest hitter. Usually it's going to be Thursday and sure enough, there it is. 144 um, different companies are going to be reporting on Thursday, but we've got some big earnings, um, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, still again, 30, you know, think about it, around 40 companies. That's a lot. 70 here. Uh, 21. Now, again, different days are going to yield different things, right? You'll have some big days like when Apple and Google are going to be moving the markets a little bit heavier. To us, it really does not matter. As long as we are aware these things are happening, we'll get some of our biggest moves in the final hour of the day. So if you're taking in notes, what do we want to be thinking about during earnings reports? Okay, here's what our expectation should be. Earnings week. Big movements near end of day so what exactly is the end of the day for us in our series so last hour right here three o'clock and then particularly big time put this in red okay watch the 330 move okay right around here again everything that we do here is in eastern time so you should already know that but 330 eastern time Look for those big moves. Some of those, if you've watched some of our old videos or been in our room when we are trading these, you'll know some of our, we've hit some really big days. And pay attention to the audio box room there um, for this type of movement. All right, gonna be huge, huge moves, particularly on Thursday is the day to really be looking out for, but really any given day this week can be it. Now, what about the morning sessions? Mornings are still just as good. Like right? we can give an example just today. Today was what we kind of call a candy day. What's a candy day? That means this is a pretty easy day. Um, if you do want to look into some earnings reports, you know, this really isn't my bag of tea to kind of look to see what companies are actually reporting, but we do have, if you type in exclamation mark E report for the actual details of what companies are going to be reporting that day, that will give you a list there from our Algobox earnings report bot. Um, so guys, if you want to check that out, Absolutely, you can do that. But again, most important thing that we want to know is how many companies are reporting that day. The more, the merrier. Okay, the bigger the volatility. Again, when we say here in our room, VIX up, ticks up. The higher the VIX, the more ticks we make. It's not about a really a risk thing with us, because again, as Warren Buffett infamously said, risk comes from not knowing what you're doing. But with our system, you guys know building confluence, execute the trades. This is more about how big the moves are going to be. So instead of hitting targets one and two, this is a time where we're going to get those bigger moves. We're going to get more of them. So get excited. Put. Uh, Put more instruments out there on your charts because there's going to be a lot of opportunities coming in there for you to smash on with Algobox during the earnings report season. Now, when, how long does this last? So usually this is around a two week time period. So this is uh, we are at October the 19th today, but the next two weeks, this week and next week, some of our biggest, biggest moves. And what time of year is this? Is this the first quarter, mid quarter? Uh, we are in coming into the final quarter of the year right now, and this is going to be 
a beast. We have made some of our largest profits into the end of the year. As you guys know, this can be some of the biggest moves. You've got all the holiday anticipation. You've got a lot of things going into that final quarter stuff. And of course, also January, February, as that kind of rolls into that time as well. All right. So we'll talk more about those type of things as the end of the year kind of progresses. Uh, I think we, we've, uh, I'm one of those get the Christmas lights out early kind of guys. We've had our guys out there putting out our Christmas lights here tonight. So we're super excited about uh, the season and you should be really excited about the um, the time of year as well. I see uh, Nick in there active here this evening, looking at again, time of day. Seasonality is important as we're looking into earnings reports. Yes, intraday, you need to know how the day is broken up. If you've never looked at that before, I'm just gonna segue into that, that that's what Nick's posted in right there. If you wanna see what those are, type exclamation mark sessions into the Discord trade room. If you're not in the Discord trade room, and don't know how to get into that, the link should be down there in the description. Right down here, of course, join us on Discord, and that should be down below. And, of course, you can follow us over here on Facebook. Forget Twitter. Uh, Twitter is the... All right. Uh, but here on YouTube as well, you can follow us over there on Instagram. But, uh, you know what? I I'm not a fan of the uh, the Twitter. They, uh, they need to get shut down. All right. Just one man's opinion. But you know what? You know I'm right. Okay. Um, what else about earnings reports? So let's look at some of the results here from today on how we know, like, pretty easy day. Durr absolutely crushed it today. Let's look at some of his stats here. What was this, 86%? Yeah, almost 86% profitable. Now, what's important is that profit factor. Wow, 25. This is not normal, folks. Okay, this is a huge hitter day. Easy, easy trading day today. It's a Monday. So what do we expect after a candy day? Right, tomorrow might be a little bit more difficult. But look for Wednesday to be another one of those beautiful candy days. All right, but... 25.52, that is huge. That means his winners were 25.5 times the size of his losers. $8,000 for Durr. Awesome, awesome work, sir. Not a lot of drawdown whatsoever. Beautiful max drawdown, only $300. That is amazing. Max adverse excursion, 52 bucks. Holy shnikes, absolutely killing it. Let's look at a few more again to see how the day panned out here. Here is Adam Smasher, 32.90, 1.74. Whoops, I just kind of overwrote that, didn't I? Um, 1.74 profit factor. That is always, that's really the most important number. If I had to nail down a, a report to one thing that's important, it's this right here. That 1.74, that is the best thing to be looking at. Even though at a 54% profitable, that doesn't sound like a whole lot. Doesn't matter. 32.90 for a 1.74 profit factor. That, my friends, is amazing, amazing work. Um, let's see some more here. We got JC pulling down 1,300. Where's that profit factor? 3.51 on the profit factor on that one. Oh, I love these. These are uh, some beautiful gifts. Let's see if it starts to move in action. Yeah, if you guys have not seen the Giffies in action, go check those out. That is HMD play, both of those. Uh, they posted there in the room. Let's see how Stingox did. He had uh, just had a phone call with me over the weekend and said it completely changed and turned everything around for him. That is huge. $1,600, 100% profitable. He is now using that MACV filter like he should. Looks like he had all short trades um, again, he has a short period of time um, to trade. That's one of our conversations that we had over the weekend. 5777, who is this? Profit factor 9.24 winners, nine times the size of his loser, 73% profitable. That is a monster. Who put that in? Is that Derek? Awesome work, Derek, closing out the day with that. CG, my right hand man, throwing down $1,100 there today. That is 100% profitable. No losers for the CG. Awesome work there, sir. And we'll scroll up enough to maybe see some of mine here. One o'clock today, it looks like tomorrow was uh, done. Mr. Tom, 39.86 on the day, profit factor 5.41, 45% profitable. Doesn't matter what that percent profit, this is why I tell you, you folks, like that percent profitable don't mean squat, okay? When your profit factor is 5.41, when your winners are five times the size of your losers, throwing down 4K in a day ain't hard. That is a beautiful, beautiful set of work right there for Mr. Tom. Uh, July, Mr. Jules, $630, awesome work, 86% profitable, profit factor 17. Are you joking me? You guys are absolutely killing it. Um, you guys, if you guys have not seen my Quora stuff on best way to start day trading for a living, some of my 13 tips on before you start going live, what you should be doing there. Um, let's see, thousand bucks, 66% profit, 2.83 profit factor for Mr. Five Stone. Mine's in here somewhere. Here we go. Here is mine from the morning. Easy, easy peasy day. 4,200 today. Profit factor 5.05. Very, very easy today. Again, these are not normal numbers. This is very super, super easy day. We got that extra volatility kicking in from the earnings reports. It's the final quarter of the year. We're in the middle of October. Outstanding time to be trading. You definitely want to have your hands on the buttons 
at this time for the next two weeks particularly. So get excited for that. Percent profitable, 71.74%. I'm going to pat myself on the back a little bit for that one. Not too bad for, and that was only four trades today for myself. That was awesome, awesome work. There's Matt J3700, 75% profitable and 4.65. You guys can go and check out the rest of those. All right, so if you guys have any questions around the earnings report stuff, just know these next two weeks, extra volatility, extra ticks in that VIX. Hope you guys enjoyed it tonight. I will catch you guys tomorrow. For me, Pippi, Robbie, Lunchbot, Mod Squad, Curtis G, and the rest of the gang. Let's send out the biggest town. See ya.